Boxing King Media in association with Box Raw. Jasmina, I am not even going to try to say your say name. I'm going to let you say it because last time I did this as well. Yeah, uh, Jasmina Zapotoczna. Good stuff. So you're 2-0. Uh, you're training at Dickie's Gym over here in Batley. Um, we, we spoke at the end of your last fight, which was back in October. You've got another fight lined up now. So just tell me in that time between the last fight and now, what have you been doing over the Christmas period? Have you been, been training? Yeah, of course. Uh, I've been training, but I, uh, I, I, I need a little break as well. So I was, it was just, just like a steady one, stay in shape, but I wanted to spend time with my family and just take a little break and that's it. So I really needed that. Did, did you go back to your home country or did...? Yes, I've been in Poland for a week. I uh, came back two days ago, so I spent a really nice time with my family and refreshed my mind, so I'm ready for the next camp. What, what is a typical Christmas like in Poland? Well, <laughs> it's quite different than in England. So the, the main uh, the main like uh, meal, like, like a time, is uh, Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. So we've got 12 dishes, which we need to cook and spend time together so obviously the, the christmas day is uh, is important as well but we start on christmas eve so that's how it is 12 dishes why 12 dishes uh it's because of the religion okay. so i don't know how to say in it's apostles is that correct word apostles in the, yeah it's in, in catholic so okay. there's a 12 apostles so we have 12 dishes so that's why <laughs> out of them 12 dishes just going off track here what's your favorite dish out of the 12 uh, all of them, to be honest. Yeah, all of them. All of them. Dumplings, Polish dumplings, and some. Two, we've got two soups or something, and then um, fish as well. So it's all without meat. That's the main thing, without meat. That's interesting. So you're preparing for your third fight, which is coming up on the 18th of March uh, at the Oldham Leisure Centre. Um, I think I said this to you last time, there's not many women in fly, in the flyweight division, so at some point you're going to probably be chucked into like a 50-50 fight. Are you prepared for that? Yes, and um, you know, like I said last time, um, I'm expecting from myself a lot and I I always try to do my best. So I uh, I just do my job and I want to be the best, so I'm trying to do this all the time. Is there any particular fighters that you've got an eye out for? Um, I know we spoke off camera earlier, I was talking about your sparring stories and people that you've you fought before, and I didn't know you was a white-collar fighter before, so you fought Stevie Levy, who's obviously you know got a bit of a name for herself at the moment. So I don't know what if the weights could ever match, but could we ever see a rematch of that in the pro game? Well, if Stevie would go down to the lower um, weight, then we can do rematch. I, I'm, I'm not bothered, so I could tell again that I can win. Just, I, I didn't ask you what happened in that uh, fight that you had in white collar. Uh, well, <laughs> because no one, no one known me on uh, on that time in England, so I was really new here. So uh, I think they thought that it's going to be another easy fight for her. So I show her my boxing, and and she just lost. But I think it was it was fair. It was fair play game. So well. That's what I said. We can do it again, but she needs to go lower. On that time, I was much, much um, lighter than her. So, well. Okay, interesting. And uh, any other fighters that are about your weight, like on, in, in the UK, that you think you could potentially get matched up with? Well, um, it's hard to say that there are a few, few girls. Um, but I don't want to tell anything like that now. Um, I'm just... I'm just uh, I'm, I'm I trust my coach and and we go in with our old path. So I think we'll be we'll be, we'll see we'll see in the future. And Jasmine, what what is it you do outside boxing? Do you work as well, or do you, do you do boxing full time? No, I'm doing boxing full time. Lucky lady. <laughs> um, so what? You obviously enjoy it, and you know what is the ultimate dream to become a world champion? Of course, yeah. First of all, European champion, then world champion. Uh, obviously, I, I'm, I'm not working. Uh, I sacrifice everything to do uh, to do boxing because that's what I want to do for my life. Um, but obviously, I've got um, support from my sponsors. So I've got Estabulo, Dr. Bay, my clinic, Salon 26, Havana Tanning Spa, and the new one, which I uh, made a um, cooperation last time uh, recently. So it's um, MJ Braids and Extensions. So I've got a support. But, but the most important thing here is my partner. So he supports me the most. Uh, that's very that's really good of him. Um, so, you know, the fans who haven't seen you fight before, what is your boxing style like? Just Describe your boxing style to me. 
Um, I, to be honest, I like I like boxing in a in a various uh, options. So, but I like stay in a long distance. Um, I like technical stuff. Uh, so, I want to be like a proper boxer, technical boxer, and this is what I focus on, and this is what I like the most because you can have um, power, you can have you can you you can be strong, but if you don't have that technique, uh, the proper uh, style, you can't do anything. So I think that the technique, the technique is the most important thing for me. Good stuff. And do you, do you have a good fan base here? There must be lots of Polish and friends that you've made um, here. You know, obviously from the first fight, yeah, it's it's getting better every time. Um, I'm meeting an, a lot of new people, and uh, and I I can tell that that I've got more uh, support now and more people recognize me in my town. So it's really nice. It's really nice. Obviously, a lot of people uh, from Poland they recognize me as well, but. It's not that support that I've got from other people, like English people. Mm -hmm. They are much, much more supportive than Polish. It's sad, but it's 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 true. It's it's that that's that's the truth. So, well. So any Polish people watching that, they need to support your lady because she's still going back to her home country, having Christmas dinners there, and and she's coming back and fighting here. So I hope I hope they do. You get more support. Yeah, I've got. I think I've got more support from Poland, like from straight away from Poland, than from Polish people here. But I, I don't care. I'm just doing my job, and I'm I'm trying to. I'm not pre pretending anyone else, and I I want to be honest, and and I'm trying to do myself to to be myself. So, if someone likes me, that's fine. If not, I respect that. Good stuff. Uh, and just to wrap up, I think I said this to you last time when I spoke to you, obviously doing interviews, I've interviewed hundreds of thousands of people. You have got the most craziest eyes I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 like in a, in, a, in a complimentary way. Like where did they come from, the mum's side or the dad's side? I think dad, yeah. yeah you have been, I'm guessing you've been told this before. I'm not the first person, am I? I think it's from that side, yeah. yeah. Do, do people mention that to you? Uh, yes, many times, yeah. 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 Thank what, you. What would you even describe them as a... Take it, take what what it. colour would you describe that as? Um, blue and the round, the, like a dark round around, around that blue colour or what? What do you mean? Is that, is that correct? Yeah, what yeah, I, I yeah. yeah, Interesting. So anything else you want to add, Jasmine, before I let you go? Sorry? Anything else you want to say before I let you go? Uh, no, not really. Social just, media? Yeah, just, just follow me on social media and, and yeah, any, any support will be... Uh, will be appreciated so thank you very much for everything it's been a pleasure speaking to you and i look forward to seeing how your journey develops over the next 12 months thank you very much thank you